everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm so excited today to be doing a new renovation video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long and they're one of my favorite kind of videos to make. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Kate and I have been renovating my house with my husband for the past, oh, quite a while now, about six, seven, eight months. Um, and we've done loads of work to it. So please subscribe if you like that kind of video. I also make family vlogs, lifestyle videos, parenting videos, fashion, beauty. There's lots going on on my channel. So I'd love it if you would click subscribe. The button is just down there and you'll be subscribed and updated whenever a new video goes live. For you guys that have been around for a while and you've watched all my renovation vlogs, some of you have been asking where they are. And I got to the point last year where we kind of were not done, but the house was finished enough for us to, you know, live in and get used to being in there for a while. And we didn't really do much more to it. Well, actually that's a lie, we have, but the rooms have all been finished in terms of the carpet and the paint and even putting accessories in, but they weren't perfect. And I was like, well, no, I don't want to show everyone yet because we haven't got this piece of furniture or this isn't quite right. And then I thought, hang on a second, that could go on for years. You know, you don't get your house completely perfect in just a few months. So I thought, no, I'm gonna put a stop to this and I'm gonna show you the rooms and the renovation process of some of those rooms that I haven't yet shown you um, and show you where we're up to so far. And if we change stuff in this room, then eventually I can show you it again and show you how it's progressed. So I am sitting now in our snug, as we've started to call it. Um, it's not our main family living room, but it's on the other side of the house. I make it sound like a mansion, it's really not. Um, but it's just on the other side, so it's a little bit separate. So it, it feels really, really cozy. And it's been my dream since forever to have like a fireplace, a chimney breast with built-in shelving. Um, so luckily, when we bought this house, it had the chimney breast but not that built-in shelving. And I'm very lucky that my dad's a carpenter and he did that for us. So I'm gonna show you the process from what this room looked like when we moved in and all of our junk everywhere to what it looks like right now. So yeah, I rambled on long enough. These are all the clips I've got of the renovation process and then I'm gonna show you and do a bit of a room tour. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. So this is the current state of the room. The floorboards have all been ripped out and I did wanna show you this kind of during the process nearer the beginning because my dad's actually got really far with it in just a couple of days okay it's so big you can't see it from there so this is the bespoke shelving that he's making for us and we've kind of discussed it all the way along and the ideas and have changed a bit but i'm so excited so for so many years all i've wanted is a fireplace and alcove shelving sad maybe but it's been a little dream of mine what he's done is he's building um two sort of cabinets at the bottom and there's going to be two doors on each there's his miles bar and his red bull <laughs> um yeah two doors on each and then as you go up here this is a space for a tv so we've left that quite big then up here we were just going to do like shelves going all the way across but my dad had an idea to do like a square shelf thingy and I think that looks really nice and just a bit different but then on this side we're going to have shelves just going across um, so there'll be one two three to make four shelves it looks so nice it's all been routed and it's just going to look amazing um this side as you can probably tell is actually smaller so this side is going to be a little bit simpler it's just going to be the shelving fitted in it's going to have two a cabinet at the bottom with two doors and then it's just going to have smaller shelves all the way across so that one will be nicer for books and little trinkets and then that one will be nicer for that the tv um and bigger ornaments and stuff so yeah there's still loads and loads to do in this room we've um filled a lot of cracks in the ceiling um so that we don't have to rip it all down and start again um i say we my dad's done it bless him so this needs to all be sanded and painted same with the walls filled a lot of the cracks and holes and stuff um and that needs to be painted everywhere we've got a lot of painting to do in this room but once that's all done and the unit's all in then we're going to carpet the floor um we ummed and ummed about this for ages because we don't have any carpet downstairs and we were going to do wooden sort of parquet herringbone flooring which i would love but I just think car carpet is going to be cosy in here. We don't have it anywhere else in downstairs, as I said. 
So this is going to be the cosy room. So yeah, carpet I think is the way to go. We had this radiator installed whilst we were doing all of the renovation because there was a big radiator there and we wouldn't have been able to fit the shelving in. So we had all that ripped out whilst all the big work was going on. I love it. I just want these radiators all over the house, but I think that would be more of a gradual thing. Um, so yeah, now the shelving will fit. I literally just cannot wait to be in here for it all to be finished and just to put something on my shelves. <laughs> That's the dream. It's been a few days since I last updated you guys, but it's a big day for this room because all of the cabinets are finished, minus the handles and obviously being painted. They're all in. There's still so much to do in this room, as you can see, it's still like this. But I am so excited that these are done. They're so big, <laughs> it's really hard to show you. I think I said that before. But all the doors are on and I love them. They've all got the beading and stuff. So we've got a double one here, a double one here. And then all of the shelves. I'm out of breath, just from running upstairs. And then this side we've got full length shelves. So we can put loads of things on there. Books, candles, lamps, everything. And then two large cupboards here. Um, I don't know if I can open them without. Yep, I can. And then inside... They've just got the two shelves, so it's, we've got lots of storage. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep this one short and sweet because next we've got lots more work to do in terms of the fireplace, the painting, like the whole room. And then it will be carpets, and then my favourite part, putting everything in the room. So yeah, I just wanted to give you this little update. I can't tell you how happy I am with them. They're just incredible. It's been about a week since I last updated you, and quite a lot has happened. So I thought I would show you where we're up to. Let's go in. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Okay, so the blind's still pulled down. Let me pull that up. Everything has been painted. We are still very much lacking a carpet. That's coming on Thursday. And then one of the things I'm most excited about is the fireplace. I'll show you that in a second. And then obviously we've got our little shelf over here, which is not actually that little. They are huge, but they've gonna, they're gonna provide us so much storage space, cupboard space, so yeah, I absolutely love them. So I'll talk to you quickly about the fireplace and then the paint. You may remember from about a minute ago when you saw the last clip, <laughs> that the fireplace was sort of an orangey wood. This is the exact same surround. Um, it's just been painted about three or four times. And then the tiles, we didn't know what to do at first. We started to knock, I say we, my dad, started to knock it out because we did want to see what was behind there in case it was some really nice original feature, but it wasn't really. And then all st started coming out. So we're like, okay, let's rectify this quickly. Um, and my dad found some of our bathroom shower tiles outside. We had about 10 left. So I had to order about four, or about five, six more. Um, but he tiled all around it. He made a half for us um, instead of having to sort of buy one. So the whole fireplace pretty much is all recycled from stuff we already had. And I just, I, I just think it looks incredible. This just sets it off perfectly. And then we don't have any plugs on this wall. So my dad's had to run an extension lead and we're gonna have a little um, electric stove at fire in there. So I am in love with my fireplace. I literally can't wait to decorate it and put the mirror up. So apart from like some golf clubs and some paint stuff, there's not much else going on here. But like I said, the carpet's being fitted Thursday. So we just really need to clean all this floor. Um, it's very dusty at the moment. We are going for a slightly darker carpet. This is the one that we have upstairs, which is silver. Um, it, it is a bit darker than this because obviously there's going to be a lot more feet on it and potentially people with shoes on which we're hoping not but you know it does happen but I was just leaning on it to finish painting last night and I had it up against here and I was like it looks so nice with, with carpet I'll just pretend that it's carpeted kind of looks like it is if you leave it there on the chimney breast we have got ammonite by Farrow and Ball which was left over from no, it just doesn't want to focus on anything it was left over from our bedroom wall that we had painted in this colour and it is such a beautiful grey. So on the other walls, hopefully you can tell that there's a bit of a contrast there. This is actually Dulux Easy Care uh, White Mist, which we got really lucky with because it's called obviously White Mist, so we weren't exactly sure what colour it would come out. And I've found out 
since that it's their dark um sorry it's their lightest gray that they do so we really lucked out and it is a lovely gray it's quite a true gray i don't know how well it's shown up on camera but to me it doesn't look lilac-y or purpley it's just a really good gray um and it keeps the room looking really light and bright and airy uh without you know it being a white room so we're in the process of trying to decide on swatches from sofa.com for a sofa we have gone for the bluebell sofa um, and we we decided that we want a quite a dark sofa because obviously we have cream sofas in the living room and with kids it's just not the best idea um so maybe we at one point we wanted to go for a navy blue which would still work really nicely in there i also really love this color which is called cobble and it's also a machine washable fabric which are things you have to consider when you've got two little children um so yeah we're just going through swatches at the minute so that is going to take a little while i think it's going to take about four to six weeks before that arrives so this is what the room looks like today it's quite a few months later now after those renovation clips that I showed you and as you can see there is a huge difference the carpet is now down I actually forgot to film when that was being laid sorry if you can hear Ellie in the background she's just having some lunch and obviously we have furniture and ornaments and stuff in here so as I said it's not finished completely there's still so much more I want to do and I'll talk you through it um but if I don't show you this now then I might never show you because it will probably never be perfect um so let's go around and I'll show you the room so as you can see all of our built-in shelves hi um that I was so excited about are all completely done they are painted in just a pure white um so there's not a specific color they're just pure white um and I just absolutely love them so as I've probably said in the previous clips, can't remember what I said now, we left this gap here so that we could have a TV. This is actually our old TV from the living room. We have a different one in there now, a new one. Um, so that fits in there perfectly, which is so nice because we can just sit and watch TV and it's very cosy. Um, and then we have the sort of box shaped ones above. I don't want it to keep these ornaments in here as they are. I do want to change all of this eventually, um, but it's just what we have for now and it looks nice, so it's fine. And they're all from different places. We've got home sense ornaments, most of them are home sense. Um, I got these for Christmas. And then I've also got books. I'm planning on painting some old books, which I've seen um, a few people do on Instagram. It looks really nice, really effective, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. Inside the cupboards, they're actually still empty, which, oh, there's a book in there, uh, which is a shock for this house. But I love the fact that we've got loads of storage for different bits and bobs as, you know, we live here longer. Inside is a bit smaller. So we just had the four shelves put in here. Um, at the top we've got a few books. And then I actually like the arrangement of this shelf much better. Most of the stuff, again, is from Home Sense. We've got a few different bits and bobs, candles. I'm really just loving these sort of neutral colours at the moment. And these different textures. So that's what I'm trying to kind of collect. But these kind of things just take time, don't they? So we've got some pictures, um, little baskets. And it just, yeah, I really love it. So... On the fireplace, we've got a little arrangement of faux lambs here, which was actually left over from my autumn wreath. Don't know if you remember that, if you follow me on Instagram, but that's where it was from. And this beautiful mirror, which was given to us uh, by Brissy. So I'll link anything below, um, and I'll let you know in the description box if anything was uh, gifted. Um, but yeah, this was very kindly sent to us, and it's just absolutely stunning. It's the Josephine mirror. Oh, and the chimney breast colour is ammonite by farrow and bull this is the fireplace we've got these candlesticks and then our lovely electric uh log burner which just looks amazing but it's obviously not real um because we don't have an open chimney or anything so that just fits in there perfectly gives heat gives like that nice ambience of um a log burning a log burner but it's electric it's really really good so i'm so happy with that over this side of the room i just absolutely love it so uh this print is one we had in our old house um this piece of art i guess it's abstract art and it's my favorite print and i think it works really well in here and we had this star for a long time so i think it might be in from the range i've got a lamp over here and then this wicker sort of well it's a chest so 
I do want to change this eventually and get a side table maybe there or there um, but for now we've got a little basket with some blankets in it so we can just snuggle up and get cosy then we've got our sofa in here this is the bluebell sofa from sofa.com which we were very kindly sent last year um, the colour of it I think is cobble and this is their two seater they do lots of different sizes but in the end we decided to go for a two seater because we didn't think we would get the sofa through the doors um, so that's why we chose this size but this is actually a sofa bed um, so it's perfect when people come and stay we can just move this um, no one's actually slept on it yet but it's perfect for having guests because this can be used as a guest room as well and these cushions these like pom-pom ones um, are from Next and then this is a really really old ottoman um, it stores all blankets and things inside it it doesn't really match I mean on the camera I think it actually looks okay but I think eventually what we'll do is buy another matching footstool from sofa.com and I also really want a rug for this part of the room but I haven't found the right one yet so there's that and then over this side of the room we have we've now got um, our Venetian blinds which look so much better um, than what we had there before and this sofa we've had for a long time, it was from Next, and we got it in the sale, it was like an X display one I think, and again, it's kind of a bit mismatched, but it does kind of work, but I think we'll buy something that matches the sofa again eventually, so it all ties in. Got this little plant from HomeSense, this is artificial, um, and then the plant was also from there, and then, um, yeah, I think that's almost everything really. Uh, the thing that annoys me in this room the most is the lights. They, I mean, they're on right now. You can't even tell. It is daylight, but um, they're, they're useless. So we're going to get two sort of spotlights with three or four lights on each coming down, which will make this room much brighter because in the evenings, it's just so dark. The garden is still a complete mess, but it's looking a bit better than it was because we've moved all the stuff out of the way. But that's hopefully going to be done at some point this year. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it seeing what we've done with this room I couldn't be happier with it and I am honestly so so grateful to some of the companies that have reached out and wanted to sort of work with us on our new house and provide some stuff I completely realize that's not a normal occurrence for most people and it has helped us out greatly so please know that I feel very lucky and um, don't take it for granted at all um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know any new renovation or home video ideas that you would like to see from me. I love filming them. Um, so yeah, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you again with another video very soon. Bye bye.